My advice would be to follow your enthusiasm. That's number one, advice number one, always. I tell this to everybody, scientists or not. I was always hopeful that I can make a, a big discovery, of course. I mean, most of us in this, in this world of science dream of that, right? And also maybe secretly, in the back of our minds, we also dream of receiving a Nobel Prize at one point. When you are really interested in, in this and in making really an impact, then you should be aware that the time when you have a revolutionary idea has to feel lonely, right? By definition almost, right? It cannot be the mainstream. If it's going to be the next big revolution, it will not, certainly not be the mainstream. There is this tendency, I want to do something that everybody else wants to do. I want to feel like, you know, part of, to be part of the community. But that is detrimental, I would argue, to, you know, scientific revolutions. That's something you should keep in mind. And this loneliness, you have to be able to, you know, to hold.